today I will be discussing with you the history of the cookbook. Now, the original first cookbook is credited to the ancient Romans. As you can recall, they are one of our five power players. Now, that is where it is credited. Upon further research and plenty of old books, I have found that the first true cookbook there are some Babylonian stone tablets that depict how to create some kind of roasted leg of lamb style dish, I believe. Now, on a separate note with the printing press and other things, I'm going to start with our first read of the semester, The White House Cookbook. These are, I happen to have with me one of the very rare editions that actually contain plenty of recipes from the actual White House. I believe that this was printed in 1903. That gives you an idea of how old this is and what kind of recipes it has. Now these recipes, they aren't really recipes with cups and measures. They are more like, um, more on how you would prepare it. Less on how to actually do it and how much to use, more of how you want it to come together. And that being said, most of the quantities are left out. It would say one this, or add that. It wouldn't say add one cup of that. It would say add onions. And it is up for the reader to decide how much onion to add. Now, going forward, one of the all-time favorites of mine, Betty Crocker's cookbook. These Betty Crocker recipes happen to have your standard one and a half cups or two teaspoons, you know, your standard measurements. These are perfect for baking, which is very scientific and very precise. Now, continuing on to more of a celebrity style cookbook. The, really the first forerunners of celebrity chefs are Julia Child, Jacques Papin, the Galloping Gourmet, those kind of things. And so it makes sense that one of the all-time classics, Mastering the Art of French Cookery by Julia Child, is in our read list of this semester. For I believe that all chefs and students should know every word in this volume inside and out. Of course, there are two, since I expect you to be up for a challenge. There are two of volumes. Now, we also have another celebrity chef cookbook, one that I'm probably sure that all of you know, Martha Stewart's cookie book. Simple, nice, standard cookies. How's your habit? It's normal. Plus. Finally, at the bottom of my list, I have this weird cookbook that isn't really a cookbook. It's like a comic book and a cookbook. I'm not too sure about this one. And it's made by that same Logan kid. And yeah. But alas, it is still on my book of reads and I do suggest that you get one of these for yourself, for your own copy. For I believe that knowing every page of this book is worth half an elective. So, I suggest that you don't ah, forget about this book, as it is a very important read for this semester. And what? Please, class, go on to your next business. I am going to think about having a cup of coffee. Or maybe taking a nap. I can never reach you.
It's been me all along. This has all been a ruse. I am Logan Jr. Chef, and thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and if you have some kind of food that you want me to historify, please send me a comment. And uh, yeah, follow me on all the social media. It's all Logan Jr. Chef, and uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. And now, time for the Irish brogue to be coming out. They are opposite of the English. Oi.